Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have my first fall makeup tutorial and I'm so freaking excited. I feel like every year my fall tutorials start with like warm tones and rich browns. I really wanted to play with the different colors so I decided to go with olive and this is what I created. I just, I have this palette and I'm just so in love with it and I'm so happy with how this turned out. I also show you how I do my hair because I got a lot of questions in my last video about how I do these like Instagram waves which are really trendy right now. Super easy, only took me like 10 minutes. I'll show you after we're done with the makeup but i hope you guys enjoy today's video if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing i make beauty and fashion videos and then i also have a vlog channel if you're into the lifestyle vlogs at the moment so i'll link everything in the description box below and with that being said if you want to see how i got this full look then let's go ahead and get started the fall time is here and my body knows it my face knows it but my hair doesn't yet because it's going through something right now and I just don't know what to do with it so at the end of the video once I finish my makeup then we'll figure out what kind of hairstyle we're gonna do because I was just like you know what I'm not gonna deal with it at the moment I'm excited about my makeup I've been drinking a lot of coffee lately you guys it gets me through the day it helps me because mom life let me tell you it's a lot of work so the coffee is my bff right now and i've been drinking my pumpkin spice lattes i got a new coffee machine if you watch the vlogs you know what i'm talking about but they ended up bringing a new flavor to nespresso and girl <laughs> I stocked up so I've been really enjoying like making my coffee at home and having fun with the lattes and like getting all fancy with it Even though I feel like I suck at making coffee. I feel like that machine just makes it easy for me So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to moisturize my skin. I did wash my face oh, That feels good. And then I'm gonna go in with my vitamin C. This is by biosense and I really like it. I'm like halfway through the bottle. I feel like I talk too much when I'm like doing my makeup with you guys. So I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum so that you guys can get to like, you know, enjoy the makeup application process. So since we're going to be doing a dramatic eyeshadow look, I'm going to start off with my eyes today. I always start off with my base, but today I kind of want to start off with my eyes. So I'm going to go in and apply a little bit of concealer on my eyelids and I'm going to use this as a primer. Okay, there we go. So last week I uploaded my first fall clothing haul and this week we're uploading my fall inspired makeup tutorial. So let me know what type of videos you guys want to see. Like, do you want to see more clothing hauls? Do you want to see more makeup tutorials, more reviews? Because I feel like I love mixing it up. I never like to stick to just like makeup tutorials or just like clothing hauls and including a few mommy things on my vlog channel. I tried th to keep this channel mainly like beauty focus and um, fashion just because I know not everybody wants to see like the mommy stuff. On my eyes, I'm taking the So Jaded Eyeshadow Palette by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. This is probably my favorite collab that they have ever done. One, because this palette is huge. Like it is perfect. It has all of your go-to shades and I really like the packaging as well. I feel like the only thing that would complete this palette is a mirror and that's pretty much it. This is like your perfect go-to eyeshadow palette and it's quite different from anything else that they have teamed up together in the past. So I really want to play with this olive shade. Like I have been eyeing this color for so long and I want to do an olive shade today. So you know what? We're going to go in and do um, something olive. Hmm. But first coffee. Does anyone else feel like they still have a little bit of eyelash glue left over even after washing their face three times? Like I feel like I always have a little something there and I switched down my eyelash glue because the last one was so, the last one, <laughs> the last one was so strong that it was like ripping off my hair. Whoa, 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 this hair is looking crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Sigma E40 brush and I'm gonna start off with Royal Jewels and I'm gonna apply this on my crease. You don't understand how tempted I was today to do a warm tone eyeshadow. And I was like, girl, you need to stop it. <laughs> I feel like it's just my everyday look. Have you guys seen that meme on Twitter? It says your eyeshadow palette's looking at you knowing that you're about to reach for that same warm eyeshadow palette. Literally, that is my life. I've been planning out my video ideas for this month because it's October and you know, a lot of exciting content is gonna be coming out. And I went ahead and zoomed in so you guys can see it a little bit better. So I'm just working the shade Royal Jewels on my crease. I'm gonna go in with Citrin and I'm gonna work this color right on top of that crease shade and blend them in together. 
I just remembered that I bought these eyeshadow shields from Sephora the other day. And I've been saving them so I can film my Sephora haul. But you know what? I want to use it in today's video. So I'm going to try mm -hmm. and... There we go. Do I need to stick it? Oh. I'm taking my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to go in with Jaded and I'm going to work this only on the outer parts of my eyelids and then work this a little bit on the crease, not too much because I don't want it to be too intense on the crease, but I do want to smoke out that look with this shade because I feel like it's perfect for this color combo that I'm going for. We're keeping that olive theme going on, so I'm taking Tiger Eye, and I'm just going to use my finger and tap this on the inner parts of my eyelids. I'm taking an eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to build up that color a little bit more and just outline the inner parts of my eyelids and bring it a little bit further back. I'm pretty sure this is a pressed glitter, and I'm going to use my fingertips for it because I feel like you're getting the most when you use your fingertips with that one as well. This gorgeous... Oh, oh my God, this... This is so pretty. And I'm just gonna apply this only on the center of my eyelids. If this doesn't scream pumpkin spice latte 2.0, then I don't know what does. Oh, so excited. It looks so pretty. I wanna build up that olive just a little bit more, just a little bit more right here on the outer crease. Oh, yes, that's perfect. I'm taking the House Labs Matter Than Matte Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to go in and draw a nice wing. I'm taking this MAC Mascara and I'm just going to go ahead and apply one coat to my upper lashes. And then for falsies today, I'm using my Batty Lashes in Sugar Baby. And to apply them, I'm using my House of Lashes Adhesive. This is the eyelash glue that I was talking about with you guys. That is... Mmm... Nice and sharp and defined. Anytime I need to find a good shade for my brows, I'm going to take this as a reference because it is literally perfect with my black hair. You guys have seen me fill in my brows like a zillion times. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this part so you guys can get to the face. One thing that I've been doing that I actually stopped doing a while ago was cleaning my brows with a concealer and it's due to Kelly Baker brows because when I went to get my brows done with her, it literally transformed my brows and it was because of this product right here. This is a Camel Light Highlighter Pencil and I like to use this to clean up my brows. I don't like for my brows to look too sharp, but I like to go in with this and just clean it up just a tiny bit to define them. And I feel like this does a really good job because for the most part, I really like my brows to look like natural, but like I, you know, I got them done. My eyes and my brows are done, so I'm gonna move on to my base. To prime my skin today, I'm using this Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I've been using this for a good two months, I wanna say, and I really like it. I remember I went to a dinner and Jackie was telling me about this. I waited to give birth to use it, and as soon as I gave birth and I started wearing makeup, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try out this primer, and you guys, it is so freaking good. I like that it's kinda of like tacky, so it makes a really good base so your foundation can go on and just, you know, latch onto it. So for foundation today, I'm going to go in with, if I can just find it, <laughs> Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. And I'm taking it in the shade Warm Nude and I'm just going to blend this on my skin with a beauty blender. This is a really good shade. I had to like go and pick up some new shades because... My tan is fading and I feel like most of my foundations kind of look too orange on me right now. So I got two new foundation shades. I got my Bobbi Brown foundation, which you guys know I love that foundation and it's one of the products that I use a lot. So I ended up getting it in Golden Natural and then I picked up this one in Warm Nude and I feel like it's a really good match. This is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. So I like to go in and just work this only on the outer parts of my face. And because this product does such a great job, I really don't have to go in with too much bronzer. Even on those days where I just, you know, don't really want to go in and do too much to my makeup, this is a really great product to use because it works both as a contour and a bronzer. Do you see all those empty spots in the front of my head? Oh my god, I'm having the hardest time with postpartum hair loss. So if you guys have any tips as to anything you did to like help with it. I know a lot of people were saying to use like eyeshadow to cover it up. And in the meantime, just keep taking my prenatal. I actually stopped taking my prenatal 
about two or three weeks ago and now that I think about it that's when like the hair loss started happening so I'm gonna start taking my prenatal again to see if it helps at all for concealer I'm gonna go in with the elf 16 hour camo concealer my Fenty Beauty bronzer in Shady Biz and I'm gonna go ahead and work this on the outer parts of my face. We're gonna build up the olive on my waterline. So I'm taking this Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in the shade stash. And I'm just going to apply this all over my waterline. For blush today, I'm using Always Rosy by e.l.f. And I'm using a dual fiber brush and I'm just lightly going to pack this on my cheeks. My face is completely done and now let's talk about this here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom and try to figure out something with this hair and then I'll be right back. I'm taking this House Labs lip liner in the shade Rule and I'm gonna go ahead and outline my lips with it. And I feel like this shade might be able to work with the three options that I have today. They're all by Huda Beauty. They're her new nude collection. Oh, actually this one looks good. Okay, I think I might use this one. This is the Sigma Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade. Hold on. <laughs> it's so hard to read the shade. It's like so small. But this is in the shade Bella Donna. This is option one. You can do a dark lip like this, which looks really good. I like the dramatic eyes and then the bold lips. Or you can also do something nude. So I'm going to show you guys my nude option right now. For my nude option, I'm going in with House Labs in the shade Myth. And I'm gonna go ahead and outline my lips. Right on top, I'm taking this Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in the shade First Kiss. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my lips. So this is pretty much the final look. I am loving this lip option. I actually like this one a little bit better than lip option number one, just because I feel like number one was just a little too much with the eye makeup, which I am obsessed with this eye makeup. I need to wear olive like every single day. And I just realized I didn't put mascara in my lower lashes. Maybe we should go in. I wasn't going to, but since we have eyeshadow, I feel like it'll look a little bit more blended if we go in with a bottom lash mascara. So let me just go ahead and apply this to extend my lashes a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like the bottom lash mascara just kind of like completes it. Ew. Okay, there we go. So now we're completely done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you're just as excited for fall as I am because I have many fall related videos coming up here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you all in my next one very soon. Bye.